Once you have the SD card installed and Oryx map set up, you can start loading maps. Do this by going to the map menu, switch map, go to the offline tab, and if they don't show up, hit the refresh button. You can start by going to the overview map. This shows a map of the entire state with all the different map tiles. And if you turn on your position, I can see that I am on map H5. So I can load that map by going to switch map here and choosing H5. I can also load the map instead by going just to switch map and open the Montana aerial view folder and this is all the different maps and I just scroll down to H5. This allows you to open any map without needing your GPS position and in addition at the bottom of every map is a index that shows all the different map names with your current map highlighted in red. To scroll between adjoining maps you just need to move the cursor and it will automatically load the next map in the series. Now that we have maps loaded I'll go over a couple of the basic features in Oryx maps. Uh, the top button on the right side turns on your GPS position. The button below that will start track recording. And clicking it again will turn off the tracking log. The next one down allows you to scroll around the map without going back to your position. If you click it again, it will take you back to your current position. And second from the bottom turns on the 3D mode. And this also works with your current position. And you can leave this mode by just hitting the back button on your phone. Once your map sources are set, you can start loading maps. You do this by going to the map menu, switch map, make sure to go to the offline tab. And if they don't show up the first time, hit the refresh button. And you can start by going to the overview map. This will show the entire state with all the different map tiles. And you can turn on the positioning on the map. And that shows I'm currently on H5. If I go back to the map menu and go to switch map here. It will give me that as one of the options. And then you have your aerial imagery maps.